Yo, what is going on guys, Mr. NASCAR, back at it again with another video. So I don't know, I don't know the date or the time, but I know one, one very important fact. And that very important fact is that you need to go down there and press the subscribe button. And also press the like button and the, the little bell. Go smash those, make sure your screen is cracked. Now don't do that because then you can't do it anymore. But the other important fact, and I said there's one, but there's two. Go do the first fact. And then the second fact is that Talladega. Tal that's Tal it. Just Talladega. Just Talladega. Just Talladega. That's just that's period. But anyway, welcome to the first episode of the my NASCAR news episode. I have not come up with a title yet because I'm very unofficial like that. But this man is Dave. I'm Mr. NASCAR. Dave, I don't yeah. always know yes. um, if he's gonna be. He's not always gonna be in the videos. We're cousins, so Dave. Uh, nice Dave here. Anyway, we're gonna be talking about lots of stuff. We're talking about. We are going to be talking about the rules package. New things in the Talladega race, I don't know. And the other Talladega races, coronavirus, coronavirus impacts, and other NASCAR news that five. we have learned. That's crazy. It's That's five. insane. It's like, we it's... have so much to talk about in this 37-minute episode, if it is 37 minutes, I don't know if it is. But let's go ahead and get started. So I don't know what I said first. I think I said rules package, right? Yes, you said rules so, package. So, rules package. They're not changing the Super Speedway package except for a few minor details. So, as you can see, Dave has last year's rule package, which is has the, big the spoiler. massive spoiler and the um, the splitter that's long and, you know. So, that creates high downforce and low, and they have low horsepower. So, what they were doing, <laughs> they had, you know, high downforce, low horsepower, 550 horsepower, no restrictor plate. Um, and now that Ron Newman had that horrible, horrible wreck in the Daytona 500... Yeah. They are taking lots of precautions. They're keeping the spoiler and splitter, but they're putting the restrictor plate back. And lower and horsepower. Lower horsepower, 510, 510 horsepower. And please comment down below what you if you know this. Um, the spacer and the wheel, they're either, they're either making that smaller or bigger. Not 100% sure because, again, I'm not professional. I'm very unofficial. Um, But, yeah. Secondly, I don't know what I said next. What the heck did I say uh, next? It doesn't you gotta matter. think here. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, well, we were talking, we were th trying to think of what we said, but I don't know. But good old Dave came up with a great idea. What was your idea, Dave? Uh, I said that we should probably just talk about the track, how long it is, and the starting lineup. Great idea! Thank you. So, mm -hmm. as you said, the track. If you don't know, Talladega is 2.66 2 miles, miles, 188 laps is 500 miles. So, you know, the guy 500, 500 miles, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah. forecast. There is a 25% th th chance of rain, rain at 3 o'clock. So, hopefully, there's a good chance it will not rain. Hopefully, but there's it will. A chance it will rain. Because, That's a very long track to drive. Yeah, um, we don't want to have to drive yeah, the no. racetrack. Because that would not be good. Um, starting lineup. Yeah. Martin Trex Jr. drew the pole position. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And he has two Joe Gibbs Racing teammates behind him, Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Then, you know, you got the rest of the starting lineup. Uh, I know Alex Bowman and Jimmy, John Jimmy Johnson is in fourth. Alex Bowman is in eighth. eighth. And there's other drivers up there in the top ten. Um, so that's that yeah. part of the thing. Coronavirus. Yeah. As you guys know, the coronavirus, two Stuart Haas employees have been diagnosed with 19 COVID. COVID-19. Um... That's not good that they have 19 COVID. That is just not good whatsoever. Nope. But, uh... They weren't, they weren't employees that traveled, so... Hopefully they weren't, you know, important. Yeah. I mean, I don't, they're obviously important, they're, yeah. but it's not, like, big! <laughs> um, second of all, NASCAR feels it's safe enough that they're going to allow no, 50,000 50, 5, 5, fans. 5, fans at Talladega. So that's a pretty big number, and more to come on the fans at there's two other tracks we know we're going to have fans this year. That is Texas and Bristol. Not the night race, but the all-star race. Texas is going to have... Yes, I don't remember how many that said. But Bristol's going to have 30,000 fans. Which, that seems like, that's, that's a big number of people. But when you look at Bristol, that's only 20% capacity. Because yeah. it sits roughly 150,000 people. So, NASCAR feels safe enough that they're going to allow fans. fans. Second thing... um. I mean, I don't really know what else we had on this list. Uh, um, 
we had, let's see. Oh, the other two races. The other two races. Yesterday, we had two races. The Arkham and Nars series race and the Xfinity series race. I, me and him both, we watched both of them. The Arkham and Nars series race was first. It came on at 2 p.m. This race was just a freaking snooze fest. Then there was legit no action whatsoever. And it was horrible. Worse than the 2018. Worse than 2018 Cup uh, race. Cup race. And, uh, I mean, yeah. But, so, anyway. In this race, the only interesting thing that happened was on the last lap the when the 25 lap. car got spun by Riley Herbst. And saved and it. And saved Somehow. it. And, you know, yeah. So, there, there's a halfway break in the race. And so, oh. you know, first, I mean, you ever seen the first stage of the race, you're just going to go single yeah. file trying to warm up and everything. Second stage, I thought it was going to be more racy. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. The restart, they all got single file again. But that's all that happened. Riley Basically, Herbst took the lead. Yeah. The whole race was... They did that for the rest of the stage, file. or second race. half of the race. And then on the last two laps, the cars broke up and... We decided to start racing. Decided to start racing with two laps to go. And the 18 car lost the lead to the 25. And then the 25 started to come down. The 18 didn't want that to happen. So he was going forward and coming up. 18 spun the 25, spun, yeah. and the 25 saved it, and then the 8, or the uh, 20, um, the... Something. Another car <laughs> won the race. <laughs> Drew Dollar, I think, was his name. Um, yeah. his first, so, you know, he won first, first career Arkham, Arkham and Arkham Arkham win. win. So that was... Uh, then, the Xfinity race came on at 5.30, and boy, that was a good really race. Really good race. That was a much better race than the Arc. I, I got my NASCAR in that yep. right there, so... You know, they start off, they're, you know, single going single file, file trying to, you know, get used to the track. Stage one ends, stage two ends. Stage, stage three. Stage three was... They're going single file with, like, what? What was it? 15 laps to go? Yeah, something 15, like 10 that. laps to go? Yeah. And somehow, they wreck going single file. Yep. Yeah. Um, Five car wreck. Yeah. What happened? Someone checked up. Red flag. And flagged. then Harrison Burton ended up going way down low, got turned and went... Where, no, he was up high. He got turned and went down low, tried to save it, and then went back up, slammed into... Two cars, I think the guys involved are Harrison Burton, Joe Graff Jr., um, Josh Williams, and two other guys. Yeah. Um, red flagged it there. Red flagged. Uh, they got the speedy dry down and everything. Started Race restarted. Then, you know, won a few laps. Then the big, big one occurred one. Yeah. on the front stretch of all places. Justin Allgaier turned Noah Gregson. If you guys know the story, at Bristol in the Xfinity Series, Noah Gregson was battling Justin Allgaier for the lead, and Gregson ended up wrecking Justin Allgaier. So, I think it may have been a little bit of revenge. Just a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Um, so, Allgaier spun Gregson, and then Allgaier got himself spun by Brandon Jones, yep. and then everyone just kind of piled in there. Seven or eight car wreck. Seven or eight car wreck. Um, front um, six got away. Yep. Red um, flagged Red again. flagged again. They got going again, and Justin Haley, this, this finish was amazing. Justin Haley mm-hmm. went from what, like fourth to fourth? first? Yeah, something he, like that. He went, ouch, I just stubbed my toe. Um, <laughs> ouch, that kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not crying. Um, but Justin Haley, he went to the outside, got a nice push, and then took down on the inside with, like, two to yeah. go, I think. And just kind of stayed there. Yeah. Everyone else, you know, couldn't catch him. And then they wrecked on the last wrecked lap at the start finish. At the line, finish. Which is kind of sad. Um, but, you know, but, great great race. Justin yeah. Haley, first career finish series win. Which... You guys don't know he won a cup race a cup before race. he won an Xfinity race, which is <laughs> crazy. Insane. That's just crazy. Um, but um, the only way he won was by a strategy call. Yeah. But uh, anyway, it was, he still won a cup race before he won an Xfinity race, and he won it at Daytona too. So, yes. um, very uh, happy moment for colleague racing. As I think it's what their second, no, third, fourth win as an organization. I think. I, I don't know. But it's like the fourth or fifth win as an organization. They're doing really good. Yeah. Um, what else were we going to talk about who, today? Who won that Dash for Cash? Oh, Chastain. Yeah. Ross Chastain won the Dash for Cash. But what I don't understand is that during these races with the Dash for Cash, Adam Alexander, the main commentator for the Xfinity Series, he acts like these guys have never seen $100,000 before and they all have yeah. salaries in the millions. Like, what is this? 1946? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, but that's gonna, you know, wrap up today's episode. Um, oh, one more thing. For the, the rest of this year, this spoiler on this car, this is a diecast, but on this car, 
right here. That is the... I don't know if it's going to focus or not because it's kind of stupid. If it'll focus. But yeah, so, um... Spoiler is that mediocre size spoiler right there. That's for all the intermediate checks in a mile and a half, like Charlotte. Then you have this spoiler, which is legit tracks. nothing for the mile half miles and mile, mile tracks. Yeah. So that's the rules package for this year. Um, not really anything else that I have to say. Do you have to say anything nope. about NASCAR? No. Nope. Football, baseball, <laughs> soccer, swimming, tennis, volleyball, croquet, um, golf. None of that's going on. Um, so. no, nothing. Nothing. Nothing much. Um, also, if you guys don't know, NASCAR has banned the Confederate flag from all NASCAR events. Yep. Every single freaking NASCAR event, nobody can have the Confederate single flag. One. If you get the Confederate flag, you out of there. You get your butt kicked out of that facility, and you're gonna go land on the street. No, I'm just kidding. You're probably just gonna have to get kicked out. But um, you know, no Confederate flag. Which, in my opinion, I know I'm not supposed to be biased, but I kind of find it dumb. I never yeah. really had much of a collection with co collection connection with the Confederate flag, but, but I know that it had to do with our history yeah. and where we are today. So I f kind of find it dumb, but in the same way, I really don't care that much about it. But thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if I should do more of these. I, I enjoyed doing them. Um, I might upload one after the race today. I might do it either tomorrow or later this evening. So turn on notifications for that. Make sure to like, like this video, subscribe. smash that s the red thick subscribe button because With that no thing knees. is thick. With no that knees. thing is thick as heck. My gosh. Um. Yeah. Turn on notifications, and uh, yeah. Thanks to guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of mm. I don't know what to call this, but you'll see it in the title. Yes. Cause, yeah. Cause. <laughs> bye.